Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I have a, a comment video. I'm going to reply to one of your questions that you had. A great question was asked, and this has been asked a couple of times. I thought it would be a good opportunity to respond. How is it possible for me to channel if someone has reincarnated? And how do I know that? Well, it's easy, kinda, sorta, sometimes. Okay, so here's the convoluted response to that. <laughs> First, yes, very clearly, it is totally possible to channel people who have reincarnated. We do it all the time, all the time. And in order to understand the, the fact that you can channel people who have been reincarnated, you have to sort of have a loose understanding of time and that time is not layered, or I'm sorry, time is not linear like a calendar with weeks and months and days and hours and all that. It is stacked or layered, time is layered. And so you can move through the connections of multiple timelines at the same time. Now that is complicated and I'm not going to explain the depths of all that and I don't understand it all with my human brain. I just know that time is layered. It's like a sub sandwich, my friends. It's not like straight and boring and plain and dictated and specific and directed. All right, so therefore we can connect with spirit on multiple levels because no matter where your spirit is, you, you have a, a facet of yourself. So your spirit is just a part, the spirit that's in your body is just a speck of who you are. It's a, a speck of a greater whole of energy. And that speck, that beautiful sequence, sparkly energy inside of you, that's your little tea light, that's your spirit. And it's so powerful and so bright and so vibrant. But that is part of a bigger whole. And so your spirit, your energy of your spirit is not just in one place. It's like the sunshine, the best way to describe this as it has been described to me through my healing team and my higher self understanding is that it's like we're rays of the sun, right? It's hard to look to the sun and see one source when there's multiple colors and multiple energies and multiple rays right and just because you don't see the sun it's behind the clouds doesn't mean it's not there the same with your spirit so the energy of you you're omnipresent as a spirit so that speck of you is connected to other specks it's connected to other uh, other part of a whole it's connected to everything that's why there's so many spiritual teachers and so much work that has been done around you are the universe and the universe is you like i am that i am we are all one, that's what that means. So it is totally possible, not a problem, to channel people, to connect with people who've been reincarnated, it's not a problem. But I, as a medium, like from a practical standpoint, from a strategic technical standpoint, trying to connect with someone who's been reincarnated, if they're a famous person, they have this big spiritual energy. It's easy to find their ray of light. It's easy to find them and to connect with them. And for them to show up or blow up the energy aura of make it bigger so I can connect with that persona, that essence of that lifetime that they've lived, easy to connect with that, real easy. But every once in a while, if someone's in the process of like reincarnating, I just and I don't know if other psychics do this too, but I can kind of tell, or I can be like, gosh, it's really hard to hear you, or it sounds like they're going through a tunnel on a phone. I can't quite hear every single word you're saying. I can only hear every word. So it kind of is like that, where I'm like, wow, wait a minute, I'm trying to connect with their energy or find their signal. And instead of here in this big energy light of who they are, who they've been, how we know them, I, I'm like trying to find, I'm like, I can kind of feel this, but I, I know it's over here somewhere. And they may be in the process of another transition. And I, because of how I made you guys, again, I don't know if other psychics or mediums feel like this. And if you are a psychic or medium, go ahead and comment, share that. So I think it's really important here at Above Life Channel that other, all of the viewers here understand that there's different perspectives from us as professionals, as psychics and mediums, that there's different ways. There's no one right way to do any of this, okay? And so 
I feel like for me, my part of my role is transitions, is helping people transform their lives and understanding what their gifts are, what their purpose is in life, what they're passionate about, and help move them through resistance that they might be having or a difficult circumstance that they're having in life. It could be a divorce, it could be something great like they're starting a business or that a point in their life where they're just wanting something more. I work in transitions. My name is Bridget. That's my birth name. That's for a reason. So I knew I would never forget that that's my job to bridge it. And so when I'm connecting with spirit and I'm trying to connect in with the energy of that spirit, I might be here if they're in a process of a transition between one lifetime to another or if they're newer in that lifetime or if that lifetime, the new lifetime they're in right now or they're, they're fo the focus is on, they're going through some kind of a transition. They might be getting married, they might be having kids, they might be um, writing a book or something like that. And they, they have been this person in the past, but right now they're doing this and I can feel the multiple um, nodes of light, the multiple key lights that they are in the different places that they're in. So yes, that does also lead into questions about past lives. That we're gonna have to save for another video because I have very strong opinions about, about focusing too much on past lives. I'm like thinking, hey people, don't you think we should be focused on the present lifetime? Yeah, because why? This is where the power is. You wanna make change in your life? You wanna create change in life? The present, not your past life, your present life is where you need to be focusing. It's too often we can get distracted by the past. In fact, I just saw this on social media. It's not my quote, it's a famous quote. People will know that. I don't know who said it though. It's don't look back. Don't look back. You're not going that way. You're not going that way. And technically, our mind understands time as in past, present, and future. But again, if you feel or if you can open your mind to the fact that time is layered, then that means you can flow between the energy and access your gifts and skills in different timelines. But that also means that it is so very important to be grounded and centered in this lifetime because this is where your consciousness is aligned. Your spirit is aligned in a body where your mind is present to help you express and and manifest the purpose of this lifetime is the most important right here right now is most important for you because you're you're in alignment you got a body you got a mind you got a heart and a soul you're totally you're the whole total package baby right here right now all right so that's my response to reincarnation yeah it's possible to channel them and and actually there was one i think it was i think it was with my nat king cole I did over the holiday, I did a Nat King Cole um, channeling and his channeling, if you wanna look for that, it's on a playlist for the holidays. Um, during the Christmas holiday, I think, is when I did it in 2018. Um, but it's a playlist, a holiday playlist. And that one was so clearly, I'm like, whoa, he's, he's reincarnating. Reincarnating or just recently reincarnated or something was going on with the reincarnation because I couldn't quite find the and then as soon as I realized where he was, the energy was home base, I was able to connect with both and, both and bring it together. And I was able to focus more on the personification of who he had been for all of us. So I knew where to go pull out the file, plug my little USB port into and go oh, la, 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 channel. See, so if you're interested in that, you wanna know more about that. I actually talked about that in that video with Nat King Cole channeling, so. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. It's been my pleasure to respond to a really great comment about how it's possible to channel if someone's reincarnated. How do I know if they are or not? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so very much. Remember the purpose at Above Life Channel is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope because this is your life. It's your life, so live it. Thanks for watching.